What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bogey RC Videos. Now today we're going to continue uh, our upgrade series on these two SCX 24 C10s or K10s if you prefer. And uh, if you're not familiar with this, uh, on this truck we're doing very cheap inexpensive mods, just whatever you know homemade mods just just whatever we can do to be budget friendly and with this one we're doing kind of just whatever we want to do just to show as wide a range of, of modifications as we can so what we're going to do today guys with this one i'm kind of excited about this um we haven't uh, so far all we've done to this one was the uh old man emu shocks and we do have this in a full droop right now with no springs whatsoever. We may address that later on. We may look at that. I, I want to get this thing out and see what I think of this first. But before we get into that, we want to get some uh, new wheels and tires on this thing. And what I chose for this, guys, these are, uh, these are the uh, Kinetic Accent buckshot wheels well, we can get these on uh, eBay they do come with foams uh, these are a uh, machined aluminum wheel beadlock uh, beads on both sides and they come with all the uh, hardware and whatnot so I will leave a link to that in the description below I actually got these on eBay and uh, like I said before, I wanted to stay with similar size tire on this one. And uh, what I chose for this is the RC four wheel drive rock creeper 1.0 tires. Uh, these are part number Z T0145 uh, RC four wheel drive. And uh, we're going to go ahead and install those today and I have a very special unboxing this is something that comes to me from Fern Solo and it's for this truck and I'm super excited about that but I want to get my wheels and tires on first before we reveal that to you guys and uh, before I even look at it for myself so let's get these wheels done all right guys so uh, like i normally do i went ahead and assembled one of these off camera and i have to say the uh, kinetic accent uh, buckshot is this specific model they have other models but i have to say fit and finish of this wheel is absolutely beautiful uh ease of assembly uh it was by far hands down the easiest 1.0 wheel you know to assemble that I've messed with this in my opinion and I don't get paid for this I buy this stuff myself but in my opinion these uh, kinetic accent 1.0 wheels are hands down the nicest I've messed with so we'll go ahead and uh, assemble one of these other ones I'll point a couple things out to you that I've noticed and what I've done and we'll get this stuff wrapped up and get them on the truck all right now these uh, wheels do come with their own foams and uh, I felt the foams and these these foams are stiffer than the ones that come in these uh, RC four-wheel drive wheels or tires so I've decided that I want to run the softer foams it's just uh, I prefer a softer foam and I will keep these around just in case I want to do some tire tuning in the future so when we're assembling these it's really a piece of cake let's see I want this particular tire to go do I want that direction well, I guess it doesn't matter so yeah when we're assembling these uh, simple we just uh, 
put this inside the tire and you notice there's a little ring around the outside of the uh, the little screw pattern there and there's a ring also on the back side so we just want our bead to lay right on that ring just like that and then we will uh, get one of these out now you notice there's uh, machining on this side and you notice on this side there's a little bevel now we want that bevel to be to the top as we install this onto our uh, onto our wheel so we just want to line these screw holes up which isn't too bad this seem, this seems to be a uniform uh, uniform screw hole pattern unlike uh, some of the other wheels that I've messed with where you had to be very cautious about that but yeah once we line it up it's just a matter of now putting in the screws a little bit of uh, blue Loctite I don't use too much I use it very sparingly just a little bit on the tip of the screw and what we are going to do there's eight eight holes we are going to do four opposing and then we can uh, put a little pressure on them there we go so we'll do one two three four bring it down then we can put the rest in So I went ahead off camera and installed these things on this truck. And uh, man, I got to say, that's a good looking set of wheels and tires right there. Now, one thing I didn't mention about these uh, kinetic buckshots is these are, in fact, a vented uh, beadlock. So if you're going to run in water, that's something uh, you want to remember. And uh, with that being said, now comes the exciting part because now we are going to unbox this right here which was sent to me by uh, Fern Solo so let's get some stuff out of the way and let's get this box open now don't you know I've been uh, I've been waiting on this I know exactly what is in here and I am very excited about this right here because this is uh, something that I had envisioned for this uh, C10 or K10, whatever you want to call them. And uh, uh, my old Fern, he helped me to uh, make the uh, vision become a reality. So let's get into this thing and uh, let me show you what we have right here. get this paper out of the way oh yeah nicely wrapped everything is in a bag what we see we have here our decals we have uh, you know roll bar all the things that come along with a new axial replacement body for the C10 or K10, whatever you want to call it. So let's get into this thing. I already know this is going to be sweet. 
already know this is going to be sweet and it's going to look really great with these new uh, wheels and tires that we have here oh yeah look look at that look at that <laughs> yes indeed yes indeed look at that right there just like they used to paint them back in the day man look at that detail guys he even painted the pinstriping on this thing oh yeah tinted the windows look at that look at that man that is a work of art right there guys and we <laughs> yeah we're gonna be putting this on there so let me get that done and uh we're gonna show you guys what this thing looks like all assembled Man, would you look at that right there, guys. <laughs> that is what I was going for. That is the look I wanted. I wanted it to look uh, like they used to paint them back in the days. And this thing just came out beautiful. Look at there. That's just what I was wanting. <laughs> Man, them... Them wheels and tires look good on there. The ride height is just about where we want it. Man, oh man, look at that, look at that. And I don't think we need the uh, roll bar on here. I looked at it, it looked a little bit busy with the roll bar. I think I like it without it. But uh, yeah, that. It's just exactly the look I was going for. Matter of fact, that's better than I was hoping for. So, yes indeed, yes indeed. That is thanks to Fern Solo's work right there, man. He knocked this thing out of the park for me. And uh, I do appreciate it because that's just what I was looking for right there. Man. Now, I did have to... Uh, I did have to rob the chrome bumpers off of this green one here to uh, stick on there. And I thought I'd just order some more. But actually looking at the black bumpers on there, it doesn't look that bad. So we might just leave it like that for now. Uh, we'll, we'll decide later on. But uh, yeah, that right there, guys, is a good looking SCX24, if I do say so myself. And until next time. Oh, Uncle Lee, Bogey RC Video said, I'll see ya.